three questions you can ask yourself before you post to make sure you're getting the highest engagement ever. Make sure you guys stay to the very end of this video where I reveal it all. We're gonna jump right in. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Jade and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how you can ask the right questions in order to get the right engagement for your account. Um, but before we do that, we're about to go to our London meetup. So we're going to head out there and meet you guys. So in London, you take the metro or the tube, which they call it. Yeah, it's called the tube. Um, and I want to show you guys more of London, like culture. As I travel, I'm bringing you along. If you are new to this channel, I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur trying to make her way. Um, and I've been traveling Europe for the past month. Um, so make sure you subscribe and like this video if you're so far enjoying the series. I haven't had this like one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys in a while. So I just want to say thank you so much for inspiring me to make content. Seriously, every single message means the world. And I thank you for watching this video. Jack, Jack. With two K's, with two K's. Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. So I have an Instagram page, it's music, modeling, and fashion. So all the photographers at the end of this hit me up. <laughs> I am so thankful you guys are here. How long have you been watching my content or found it? Wait, have you been here since Drop Shipping Dropout? Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, she's been here since the days. Okay. After we intro everybody, I love to do like kind of QA pop up, not just for me, but if you guys can answer each other's questions um, and get to know each other. I'm here with Millennium B. That's my Instagram handle. I'll pop it. It's right there. <laughs> since when did you find my channel? Uh, I was just on YouTube and I saw it. I've been watching it since before you blew up. Oh it was so crazy watching you blow up. Like three months ago. That's so cool. How many videos do you have? Like, How many? Eight? Okay. Maybe about seven or eight. And I have like two hundred subscribers. Girl, that's good. It's really good. I didn't. I didn't get two hundred subscribers until my hundred video. So do you feel like you're not doing good enough, or compared to someone else? You're, like, you're looking at Emma, you're like, fuck. I kind of like look at it and I'll, like, I'll upload a video and then the next day I look at it and I'm like, okay, it's like 100 views, like my subscribers gone up by like one. But it's like so much effort to go into one video, do you know what I mean? My biggest tip for that is like, those 200 followers, you need to be so, are they loyal? Are they pretty loyal? Yeah, they are pretty loyal. You need to go so, so narrow. A lot of times like this, we, we tend to expand too fast. But fast expansion can mean like, fast contraction, right? You've seen YouTubers like Emma or like, they grow really fast, but that means they can also fall really fast. So you're okay. Honestly, slow growth. Uh, my, my biggest tip is slow down and speed up. You're gonna you're gonna hit that you're gonna hit that roller coaster, but be okay with that slope because you don't want to do this fucking thing where some people fall on their face, right? But like whatever happened to you know boyfriend versus girlfriend? Remember like grew really fast and yeah. they fell on their face. I'm just like wondering how can I like balance YouTube and school? What is your bigger goal? Like why are you doing YouTube? Just like curious. Like do you want to do full time one day or yeah. like is it just for fun? Like tell me more. Right now, I'm doing it for fun, but definitely in the future, I want to do it over time. So I think delegation is important, right? So a lot of times, my parents have told me, like, you got to stay in school. So if your parents are supportive, my biggest thing is, like, the 80-20 rule, right? Try to do this. Like, if you can't do YouTube, can you do, like, an hour? What's the max a day you can do? I'd say about two to three hours. Two to three hours? Maybe. Is that not, do you think that's not enough? That sounds like a lot of time. Editing takes me, like, quite a long time. So. Okay, so whenever I think editing takes a long time, is it because you want to be perfectionist or what? Yeah. If you want to grow, you have to be okay with giving up a little bit of that quality. Because if you don't have enough time, if you don't have enough, there's three things, right? There's time, cost, and quality. If you don't have enough money, if you don't have enough time, you have to give up a little bit of quality. So be okay with like, maybe editing, like setting a timer for like only editing for three hours. Because I used to sit there, like, have you ever been editing? You know, like, oh, it sucks. I mean, like, do more. Yeah. So try that. Try to like set a timer, and if you can't do it perfect, just try to shorten the editing time, and then give up maybe a little bit of quality so you can grow faster. And then later on, you can outsource stuff like that.
that was a bad trip. What's up guys, we're back. We're back in LA. I was traveling like nonstop, but there's actually one more Europe vlog in the series and then we're back to like regular scheduled videos So I know you guys are here watching this today to learn what are the three questions you need to know to create the best content Sequence so I'm not gonna clickbait you guys any longer and I just know you want to jump right in I'm just gonna list it out here and then I will furtherly explain it if you care to Listen a lot, but if you guys are in a rush you can click off and uh, do your own thing So three questions you need to ask yourself before you hit the post button. What's up with my Hand motion. One, does it achieve the goal? Two, is the information and story clear? And three, is it interesting? I know these are basic questions and you might be saying, Jade, what does this mean? So I'm gonna break it down a little bit, give you guys more context, but yeah, I thought I'd just throw those out in there. You can screenshot it, keep it with you in your like memory notes. Does it achieve the goal? Um, I think you guys saw earlier, I'm, I'm very focused on Instagram for the sole reason because a lot of you guys try to do YouTube and Instagram and it's not working. Here's the thing, there's a huge difference in retainment on YouTube and Instagram. Think about it like this, when you're on Instagram, you could just be opening the app for like a minute and then close it and then reopen it again whenever you feel bored. Or However, on YouTube, you literally have to spend time. Maybe you guys eat a meal while you watch YouTube content. Maybe you guys like put it on your TV so you chill out. So the retention can be literally 10 minutes to an hour long. I don't know, some of you guys are really couch potatoes and you really watch YouTube for a long time. Say you're an average consumer, we all agree that we spend more time on YouTube just because content form and retention is longer than Instagram because it's more to check updates and quicker things. So once you understand that, realize that you need to achieve a goal. Regardless of where you post, it needs to overall have a goal. And I think if you don't do that, it's not gonna perform well. If you can't sit there and look at your pretty selfie and your nice caption and say, does it achieve a goal? How is someone to see value? How is someone wanting to engage? I think we always forget to keep in mind that we have to reverse engineer our minds and ask ourselves, does this bring value to someone? Is this gonna make someone laugh? Is this gonna make someone feel like they learned something, right? It doesn't need to be necessarily educational. You just gotta bring some value. And I always say like this, if you're ever confused, value is either education, motivation, or entertainment. Is that a bug on my window? Another way you can look at it is, what does someone need to walk away with? When someone scrolls away from your Instagram post, or when someone taps out of your YouTube video, do they walk away with something? Yes, maybe Instagram's a little harder because people scroll really, really fast, and you only have a short amount of time to capture your attention and maybe on YouTube you a little you have more but it's the same old same old you gotta ask yourself how can this bring value and what do I want people to walk away with does my hair look like so dry is do you see that my hair looks so sad Actually, at the end of this little segment I'll go over an example of a post I did and how you can implement these three questions but we're gonna hop to number two which is all about is this information clear and is there a story same with the fact that I told you that retention on Instagram is a little harder because people scroll like this. And don't lie to me, when you're on Instagram or the Explore page, you keep refreshing it because you don't want to see the boring content. When you think about it like that, I think it's important to think, is it clear? Like, is my paragraph, a lot of you guys are trying to add more value, which is great. But please do yourself a favor and add in spaces. So I like to add in like dots to like space out my content so when people read it, it's less overwhelming. And similarly on YouTube, because I'm trying to introduce more video content since you guys want to do YouTube as well, a tip that's really important is what I'm doing here. Like if you're teaching something, make sure you do bullets, make sure there's a format. If you're more of a lifestyle video vlogger, please have a beginning, middle, and end. There's too many vlogs out there I see that literally have zero plot, and I'm just like, what's the point? And I, it's fine if you're doing it for fun, and if it's just for comedic entertainment, but there should still be a beginning, middle, end for people to come from point A to point B. You want people to stay, so make sure there's plot. Okay, the last thing is, is it interesting? I think we always have to realize, just does it challenge you? Does making the piece of content entice you? Is it hard? Is it uncomfortable to make? If so, you are doing it right. If you're ever bored, with Instagram, or you feel like it's not growing, or you feel like you're kind of stagnant, you're not dreaming big enough, you're not pushing hard enough. You literally have zero fears and you're chilling, you're, you're probably not pushing hard enough, you're probably not dreaming big. I actually have a thing on my, I'll show you, I'll show you. See, we got whatever the dream is, dream bigger. Um, and this applies to everything for me personally, it was just like my entire goal for the longest time was just to make money. Oh, and I'm like, then I realized money actually doesn't motivate me. I'm gonna give you an example. This post, which you'll see me laying down um, with my notes and just me being Jade, was talking about how I dropped out of high school, why I did it, and it was surprising how people didn't really know the true reason. So what I did is I asked myself, does it achieve the goal? My goal in that post was just to say, hey guys, 
please do yourself a favor and don't drop out for the wrong reason. So I also asked myself, is there a clear story? I added bullet points, I made sure there's a plot, I actually added even a narrative to make it interesting and engaging. And you guys can check it out on Instagram and go ahead and follow me if you want to see more examples of content. Yeah, these are subtle ways. Like again, you don't have to like ask yourself and check a box every single time. It's just things to keep in mind because I feel like we're all kind of lost and if we don't have a strategic target, we can just start posting garbage and things that people won't get value from. Going back to the dream, like all, I'm not joking, all I wanted to hit, I, I have it in my room. Actually, no, 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 I have it with me. You guys see that? It says hit 10K subscribers. And I wrote that as like an end of the year goal. Once I hit that number, I didn't feel that much different. I celebrated like crazy. If you guys see, me and my parents always celebrate. I'm an only child, so I don't really have that many friends. So we would always go out to dinner every time I hit a milestone. But then, you know, a week went by and I was like, cool, <laughs> what next? So that's why I asked myself, does this achieve the goal? Is it informational? Is the story clear? And is it interesting? Because then I push myself to new heights and new levels. So I don't just post what worked. At the end of the day, whatever got you here to this very point will not work for the next three, five years. You have to keep moving, keep changing. Marketing is always changing daily. The amount of stress and acne it gives me just like researching every single day is real. Always ask yourself these three questions, not just to get more engagement, to push yourself and kind of be uncomfortable. I think that's the theme about this video, just pushing yourself. Don't stop, keep going, hustle, grind, bitch. All right, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hey, if you're so far enjoying it, uh, go turn on post notifications and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. You wanna be the next comment winner. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I actually want to know a question. I used to do this in the past, but I would take questions and convert it into YouTube videos. And I know you guys leave them below, but this time, if you guys could just write your hearts out, make it clear, email me, what excuse me, that would be awesome. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon.